Hello everyone! On today's episode of How Can We Hide My Gigantic Forehead, uh, I've gone for a hoodie. Actually, I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments, mainly from my mother, uh, about how wearing a hoodie indoors is, is not proper etiquette. So I'm, I'm gonna take it down, and you'll just have to live with my fat forehead and my greying hair. A couple of days ago I put an Instagram poll up saying whether I should dye my hair grey or not. Here's my Instagram, by the way, if you wanna, you know, take part in those very exciting polls. And not two days later, I find an actual cluster of grey hairs upon my head. I'm 22! I'm having a crisis, and I'm also having a cry, sis. <laughs> and do you know the only thing that's gonna help me get through this crisis? Skillshare. This bad boy is sponsored yet again by our favourites, Skillshare. Thank you very much. Right. As you may or may not know, uh, I'm the queen of self-sabotage. It's, it's like I don't want to succeed. A prime example of this is the fact that I don't drink water. Now don't ask me why I don't do this, because the truth is I don't know. Um, Maybe I just hate myself. But I also make it worse because not only do I not drink water, I also drink an obscene amount of coffee. And for those of you who don't know, coffee is a diuretic, which means that it encourages your body to expel water and salt. And that basically means that it makes you wee a lot, which dehydrates you further. So I don't drink water and then I actively dehydrate myself. It's exactly what we would expect of me at this point. I have been going in this cycle for <laughs> many, many years at this point, uh, but recently I started university. Now, if you've ever been in any form of education, you'll understand that being tired just constantly is kind of like a staple. You cannot be in education if you're not constantly exhausted. So to counterbalance this perpetual exhaustion, I have been drinking more coffee which, it's not gone well. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's not gone well. This has made me even more dehydrated than usual. I'm suffering from headaches, I'm not sleeping very much, I feel bloated all the time, and my skin, it's not been the one. It's not been, it's not been great. Uh, which is something you would know if you watched my Twitch streams. And you may be wondering if I wore that hoodie just to promote my Twitch. Uh, and the answer is yes. Yes, I did. So recently I've been feeling increasingly horrible. Uh, and I thought, you know, maybe I should fix this. And you may be thinking, in order to fix this, I should probably set a reminder, you know, every hour or two to, to drink a glass of water. But you would be wrong. You see, you're forgetting one crucial thing. I am a YouTuber. And all I care about is content. So do I set a reminder to drink a glass of water every hour or two? Nay, nay. I drink a gallon every single day for a week. So this may seem somewhat excessive, uh, and you would be right. Actually, drinking excessive amounts of water can be dangerous because it can cause your sodium levels to drop. That can result in a, a really rare condition called hyponatremia, which can kill you. And although that is exceptionally rare, I want you to just take a moment to consider that I am putting my life on the line for this video. So please consider giving the video a like and a subscribe. I'm so glad I've gotten to the point uh, where I value my life as equal to a single like and subscribe. <laughs> It's, it's going well. Well, hyponatremia aside, there are actually some benefits to drinking water. Shocking, I know, considering that our bodies are 60% water. Now, these benefits can include less headaches, potentially clearer skin, better exercise performance, and maybe even better sleep. It may even help with weight loss, like I saw in this article I read whilst doing research for this video. This woman lost over 30 pounds by drinking a gallon of water a day, and I'm sure it had absolutely nothing to do with the meal plan and regular exercise that she also did in tandem with that. 
sure it's 100% just the water. But I think one of the coolest things that drinking more water can actually do for your body is promote a process called autophagy. And I've spoken about autophagy before in my water fast video, which is here, if you fancy learning. <laughs> autophagy is a natural process whereby your body, your cells, clear out damaged cells and cells that aren't really functioning too well. By removing these damaged cells, they replace them with healthy, well-functioning cells. And according to some research, this can promote healthier organs, this can promote a better functioning body. Now, there are some studies that claim autophagy can essentially <laughs> prevent cancer or similar, but I'm not gonna get too much into that because that is a whole discussion in and of itself. And personally, I think it's an area that needs way more research, but overall autophagy is a very cool thing. It replaces damaged cells with healthy ones, resulting in an overall better functioning system. It's kind of like the physical version of when <laughs> your brain forgets old information that you don't really need and isn't useful in order to make way for new information, better information that can help you in life. The kind of information that one would find on Skillshare. I'm very proud of that segue. That was up there, top three greatest segues to ads on my channel. <laughs> As many of you already know, Skillshare is an incredible online learning platform that gives membership with meaning. You get to join creative humans just like yourself and feel loved and supported, something I haven't felt in a very long time, except when I log on to Skillshare. If you need a challenge to stimulate your mind during this, uh, <laughs> this very weird point in time where everything kind of feels the same, <laughs> Skillshare has the source. I have been taking the how not to suck at investing class <laughs> because, you know, I want to be the next Warren Buffett, except mine is the whole love triangle living with my mistress thing. Not about that. Just want the money. It's really helped me get a basic understanding of how stocks and shares work and, you know, how to read those ridiculously complicated graphs. And like I said last time I talked about Skillshare, there are no ads on the site, which means you don't have those incredibly annoying interruptions like that. If you have YouTube Premium or if if it just didn't work, there was an ad there. I put an ad there to, to show how annoying interruptions are and how great they are on Skillshare because there are none. So if you're looking for a fun, fruity, fresh, educational sesh, uh, just click the link in the description. Unfortunately, there is a, a small condition. The link will only give a free trial to the first 1,000 people that click it. So do, do spank it, do, you know, maybe click it twice just to make sure you've secured your spot. Also, if you click it, you help to support my channel, which is, uh, it's a very nice thing to do. If I do say so myself. So yeah, click the link in the description, sign up, get a free trial today of Skillshare. Thank you very much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I don't know why I'm shouting. On with the video. Here's what happened when I drank a gallon of water every day for a week. I'm not gonna lie to you, day one was pretty rough. Uh, it, it, it felt like I was trying to drown myself. It got to the point that when I moved, like side to side, you could hear water jiggle inside of me. Good morning, everyone. I have successfully transformed into a Sith Lord. Got the water here for the drinking. And if you haven't noticed, there is a lot of it. Like one and a half loads of my head worth of it. As you can see, it's got these super helpful little, uh, Little, what, what do we call them? Words of motivation on the side with little timestamps. It's to help you pace your water throughout the day. There is just a small hiccup with that. And that hiccup is that the timestamps start at 7 a.m. I don't know if you've ever met me, seen me, looked into my eyes. Do I look like I get up at 7 a.m.? Look at me. Do I look like an early bird gets the worm kind of gal? I was gonna lie to you about the time that it currently is that I'm I'm waking, uh, but I decided that we're past that. You know, our relationship, we're past, you know, petty lies to make ourselves look better. It is 1 p.m. So by the helpful little timestamps here, that means that I've got to drink here. I genuinely think I would drown. So instead, I'm gonna, you know, just casually sip on it. Oh, that is a very 
it's a thick straw, thicker, wider than I thought it was going to be. So the, the burst of water was girthier. So it took me by surprise. I've just drank so much I feel sick and I've made no progress. We've done it boys. We've hit the 7am mark. Oh my god, it's gonna be 3pm soon. Okay, lesson learned. Tomorrow we get up earlier and drink them in actual decent interims rather than trying to cram six hours of water drinking into about 20 minutes. It's gonna be a very long week. But like a dehydrated plant, I kept sucking up that goodness through this preposterously large straw. We've just finished watching way too much anime and I've not done nearly as much schoolwork. So it is now 10 o'clock. Uh, well, it's actually 10.23. And I now have to do two hours of lectures to take me up to midnight. It's my own fault. I was only meant to watch one anime episode and I watched several. Six. I watched six. <laughs> So I thought I'd give you guys a little water update. Given that it's half past 10, I should have finished an hour ago, but unsurprisingly, I have not. I've actually gotten pretty far. If you can see, I'm currently just below the 7 p.m. mark, which means I'm only three hours behind where I should be, which is crazy because we started the day, you know, being like six hours behind. I call that character growth. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go do the rest of my studying. We're gonna drink the rest of this. Also, please ignore the third eyeball I currently have on my forehead. I thought drinking water was supposed to clear your skin and somehow I've broken out in spots. So, <laughs> it's going well. I'm really glad we tried this whole hydration thing. Really glad. By day three and four, something very, very bizarre started to happen. I started to get intensely thirsty, like, more than a gallon. It was like my body had finally realized how dehydrated it had been for the past 22 years of my life. And so it was like, just feed me everything. I will replenish 22 years of dehydration right now, honey. I will do it. <laughs> Drown me. On one day, I almost drank two of these. Two! It's double the size of my bloody head! At this point, I think it's a good time to tell you that I was, I was, I was peeing a lot. Like I was, I was peeing for the whole country. I'm not gonna lie to you, there way too much urination for one body. I mean, what goes in must come out, kids. And if it doesn't come out, you should probably go to the doctors. So the only real changes I've noticed so far are for some reason my skin is breaking out, like, a lot. A lot of angry looking spots on my face. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't really mind it, you know, sometimes, you know, our skin's clay, sometimes it's not. But I very rarely get very angry, like, red spots. And as we can see, they're finding a very lovely home upon my face. I wonder if it's because all the water is flushing all the badness out of me. I wonder if I'll be a pure holy spirit after this. So day three, a quick little summary. I've noticed nothing other than an increase in urination and angry spots. I'm so glad we've done this. It's going fantastically, as we can clearly see. We will do this. Tomorrow is the day. I believe in us. By day six and seven, I had completely adjusted to my new water regime. I was just drinking it casually while studying. I would get through half a bottle. At dinner, at mealtimes, I would just sip along throughout the day and it was actually relatively easy to finish the bottle before bedtime. And to be honest, I did start to feel better. By the end of the week, I had noticed clear improvements in my skin and also in my headaches, which pretty much had gone by day four. Something that was very interesting was that the more water I seemed to drink, I completely subconsciously started drinking less coffee. I managed to get down to kind of like one a day, which is really unusual for me at the moment because exhausted constantly, but my skin definitely improved. I mean, I had red spots everywhere. Overall, I just felt healthier. I felt like I had more energy. And I don't know whether that's because I was sleeping slightly better because I was drinking significantly less caffeine or whether it was because I was feeling hydrated, which just gave me more energy. I, f I felt 
just more alive. <laughs> Imagine a crisping leaf suddenly get water and become like a, a growing bud once more. That is how I felt this week. <laughs> Something interesting that I did notice is actually throughout the week, I did end up eating less. This was completely unintentional and it was something I didn't really realize until I was going back to the original points that I was thinking about at the beginning of the challenge, one of which included weight loss. Now, I personally don't weigh myself. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. I just, I just don't do it. But I think that I probably have lost a small amount of weight. And although this was completely subconscious, I do think that the reason for this happening was because when you're drinking these large quantities of water, you do feel quite full up a lot, especially in the beginning because you're not used to it. You feel very full of water, which means you don't really want to eat because you're a bit uncomfortable. Secondary reason for this happening might sound very bizarre to you, but it's something I do a lot. I'm one of those people who eats when it's not food that they need. For example, when I'm tired, I'll eat a chocolate bar instead of taking a nap because for some reason my body gets sleep and food confused. Another example is when I'm actually thirsty and I need water, I will also eat a chocolate bar because my body gets water and food confused. <laughs> As you can see, the general theme from this is that my brain seems to think the answer to everything is food. And obviously because for the first time in a very long time, I wasn't actually dehydrated. I wasn't getting that craving that my body needed something and my body wasn't automatically saying, aha, <laughs> the answer is food. So I think I subconsciously cut a small amount of snacking out of my diet, which probably accounted for why I ate less. There are obviously a few negatives though, including the copious amount of time that you spend on the toilet. Your sleep often gets interrupted by you needing to go to the bathroom because you've drank one of these right before bed, which can be a pain and disrupted sleep is something that I detest more than anything, which is a very strong thing to say because I, I hate a lot of things. <laughs> but although interrupted sleep is a massive pain and spending two hours on a toilet each day just weeing, you know, weeing your heart out, it's not ideal. I honestly think that the benefits massively outweigh the cons. I do feel a lot healthier. And although some of that is probably psychosomatic, it doesn't really matter because I know that overall water does good things for your body and I am gaining benefits even if the way I feel is not directly because of the actual benefits. It's more, you know, in my head. <laughs> So I finished this challenge two days ago now, but I have actually been drinking one of these for the last two days, even outside of the challenge. And I think I'm gonna try and continue to do that just indefinitely. Drinking water is such a small thing, but it can make a massive difference to your physical health and also your mental health. I have felt so much happier in my brain, which has made me feel happier overall, which I'm not saying water fixes everything, of course not, but it's not a bad place to start. But let me know in the comments down below if you would give this a go. Like I genuinely love hearing your guys' feedback. Do you think that this is excessive? Do you think that it's understandable? Would you try it yourself? Do you already do it? I, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what's inside your brain. I'm gonna put me hip back up because it's the end of the video. <laughs> All right, I get to be comfortable again without my mother's judgment. If you did like the video, please do give it a cheeky little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's a free world, you do you boo. I am trying to fix my upload schedule. Since starting uni, I've really struggled to balance Twitch, YouTube, uni, and everything else going on, including sleeping and, you know, eating. Those are pretty important activities for me. But I am getting in the habit more and more now. I'm getting much better at at organizing my life. So please do, you know, subscribe. I promise videos are coming. Have a wonderful day and I will see you lovely lot next week. Kisses to your mother. I can't feel my face, no, faking on a song.